Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today because guess what you guys? Guess what? It is Ruby Day. It is the best day of the week. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. If you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, um, wow, guys. Just wow. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still processing um, everything from last week. And it both amazes me and impresses me that we have had such a deep, and meaty story up to this point while really only having like half or less of the full story. Um, I ju I, it really just blows my mind. And so a few things just off the bat that I want to um, clear up because uh, thankfully I've gotten lots of feedback on um, last week's reaction already and there were a few things clarified for me. Um, I was a little, I was wondering, I was like a little confused. I'm like, oh my God, wait, did the, did the girls, did the daughters, did the kids survive? And they're the maidens. They did not survive, sadly. And, um, they're not the maidens, <laughs> but it is, um, theorized that perhaps that's why, um, you know, Oz granted them the, the powers, the, the actual maidens, because they did remind him of his kids. And, you know, is that why we do like teams of four? Weren't there like four kids and, and all, and these kids kind of remind him of his kids, maybe? I don't know. Like, that's not the only reason we're doing it, because clearly, like, the, the academies and everything were, were founded in order to try and stop Salem, but, um, but, you know, it does kind of make you wonder, like, that's because there's some, there are some interesting details in there, you guys. I love the way they pull it all together. Speaking of pulling things together, oh my lord, we get the reason for the name Remnant in the last one. We get the moon. Finally, we know what, I, you know what, guys? I had just kind of given up. I'm like, what, I'm, okay, the moon's, bro it's just a thing, you know? It's just a thing. The moon is broken. I don't know. It's just a thing. No, we got the actual reason for it. We got the actual reason because the the uh, one of the gods just uh, he was he just had to slam the door on the way out. You know what I mean? He just had to be like mm! <laughs> and break the moon unnecessarily on his way out. Um, what else? Oh yes, okay. Dust. Somebody brought this up to me, and I think it is really worth mentioning because it's so interesting. So I guess there was a theory that the, the fragments of the moon, the broken moon, were dust before this point. And after this, there is a, it's not like set in stone, but it's kind of a theorized amongst um, team fandom that the, the remains, I guess, of the humans who were all destroyed by the gods, um, by the one god, by the god of darkness, um, but God light didn't stop them, so whatever. Um, it's like it's it's like their ashes. It's, it's dark, guys. It's it's some morbid stuff, but it's it makes a degree of sense. I don't know. Um, so and again, I don't think that's like confirmed. I think it's just kind of like a theory. But um, oh my goodness, uh, let's talk just a little bit about what actually, like, what this actually means. Because I have to say, like, initially after watching it, I'm like, I'm not saying, like, Salem was in the right by any means, but, boy, there's a lot of things you can point to with the gods and be like, I don't think that was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to look at it this way, it's like when, um, you know, it's kind of like if you're, if you're, um, a parent, let's say, you know, um, well for me, like I'm, I have a dog and like someone or something in your charge does something that's not acceptable. You don't get to just respond by doing something <laughs> more unacceptable. Like, I don't know if I ma was making her immortal, like really like that. 
first of all, it's a hefty fine. Second of all, like, how is that good for, for anyone? Like, how, you know, that's, that's going to drive anyone pretty insane. Um, and one thing I noticed, like, almost immediately after uh, watching the last episode was that um, Ozpin, you know, still seems to be somewhat kind of, like, mentally stable, I guess you could say. And he has not been alone through all this time. But Salem was alone. Um, she was immortal and just has been alone through all of it. And was totally alone. Like, everything was desolate before humanity kind of came back into being. We don't know how long. Like, a really long time. Um, so, I mean... It kind of, I mean, I'm not saying it's good or right, but, like, who wouldn't be driven nuts by that, you know? So, not a lot of, uh, you know, maybe consideration of, like, the long term by by the gods, um, you could say. Um, but, yeah. Uh, coming out of it, I, I, it's not that I'm rooting for Salem in any way now, because I really think she has come to, she has lost all that made her who she was, I feel like. But knowing how she lost that, I'm like, you you kind of got screwed over, <laughs> you know? Because the first thing I thought when I saw her, like, at first was like, oh my gosh, it reminds me a lot of white. She's being, like, almost kind of held against her will um, in this castle, and watching her come to where she is now, it's like, it just felt like there was a lot of things she either didn't have control over or, you know, and I mentioned this in my last reaction, when you, when you have come, become so accustomed to not having control of your own life, you know, if you're pushed into a corner, like that's not, you don't, you don't want to push someone in that situation into a corner. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like that's kind of what the gods did, you know? And then, um, yes, she made a selfish decision putting all of, all of humanity in peril, the balance of everything in peril for her own love. But, um, but I don't know. I just, I still kind of look at that and I'm like, <sighs> I still don't think they, I think the gods could have handled that a little bit differently, don't you think? Um, cause again, it's like, you know, if, if your kid throws a tantrum and breaks something, you don't, you don't get to kind of, like, um, respond by doing something, like, immature back to them. You know what I mean? Even if you might want to. But you're the parent. You know, you're the grown-up. Um, so, yeah. So, that was just kind of my takeaway from it. But, I mean, I had a lot of takeaways from it, you guys. I'm still, like, last time I said, like, oh, I'll process it. And next time I'll have a lot more to say. And I'm like, well, I'm, I feel like I'm still... I feel like I'm still processing all that. We got a lot of answers. We opened up some more questions, I think, because um, now that we know, and we know it was like a few lives ago that Oz found out that um, Salem can't be defeated. So what are we doing? He's still he's still training fighters, and we're you know he's still like so what? But why if she can't be defeated? What are we working towards? What is the, what is the, are we just really just trying to play keep away from her at this point? Just to like stay alive? So I had a thought and I don't think it's right because I'm pretty sure like Crow looked as surprised as everyone. Um, when he, when, cause we know that I, I don't think that, I don't think that anyone knew any of this stuff before this point, except for like Oz and Salem. But it did make me kind of rethink about Raven and be like, if you knew all that, I could see why she would be, like, on the run scared. Because it does feel like, um, oh my god, like, what? There's no stopping her, and we're just, we're all just, we're just living on borrowed time at this point. Um, but I don't think Raven knew all that. I don't think anyone knew any of this. But it did make me stop and think that, like, you know, I could see how, like, if somebody did... They'd be like, oh, man, we're just all just, we're just kind of, yeah, we're, we're playing keep away and we're, yeah, that it's, it's, uh, it's a very, um, overwhelming and intimidating thought 
that like you are in the same world as this now like devilish creature that um has so much power and just it's just kind of a ma you know kind of a matter of time and I guess maybe that's just the goals it's just keeping the relics away from her at this point like she can't be stopped it's just it's just a game keep away just to try and like um make sure that humanity survives because I will say at, at this point in time at this particular point in time I feel like if the gods came back to do their judgment, they're going to see the stuff with the faunus. They're going to see all the wars and stuff. And they're going to be like, irredeemable. Which I will say that is actually really not fair. Because the phrase irredeemable means there is no hope. And I'm with Ruby that like there is always hope. If we, if we have breath in our bodies and we can fight to protect anyone... That's, that is not, that completely contrasts with the definition of irredeemable. But I think what we're getting here is a little bit of perspective on how, like, the gods see things. Um, it's, it's not, it's not a, gr it's not a great balance. <laughs> it's not a great a balanced view of everything, I would say. Um, so, all right. Oh, yes. And Cinder is like, <laughs> sorry, that got so overshadowed. I, oh ma'am I was like cinder like if you're a cinder fan and then like the cinder's return was followed up by by that cinder just got like completely overshadowed um sorry cinder um but yes yeah, cinder's back so i'm like oh man <laughs> like in a way i i i think it makes sense that like what we saw would not have taken her right out but um, some of you guys had me going saying, like, nah, that's the end of Cinder. No more Cinder. So I was like, you got me. You fooled me. You got me this time. You'll probably get me again. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so she's back. And, of course, she wants, uh, she wants, she wants revenge. Um, so, yeah. And we got some other new characters in that scene as well who I think, uh, who I think will probably show up again at some point. So, all right, guys, the next episode is called So That's How It Is. So I'm guessing it's just going to be our, our crew just going like, wow. Look, but basically my face after the last episode, like, whoa. So it's probably going to be that for 13 minutes, 14 minutes. <laughs> but guys, there's only one way to find out. This to jump into the next episode of Ruby. Let's get going. Oh, it's gonna be too loud now. It's gonna be really loud. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my lord. Okay, now I feel like it's actually too low. Maybe that's just because when I hear screaming guitars, I'm like, whoa. We, we, we need that louder. Oh, yeah, and like our other, I, okay, so our other half of our crew here like does not even know. So that's gonna be an interesting conversation. I just realized that when I saw like John and all them, I'm like, oh yeah, they have no idea. It's just Oscar, Team Ruby, and Crow. Okay, I'm okay. I do not like. I do not like this where like we see we see Crow getting like pulled into the abyss. I say that every time. Not gonna. I'm never gonna like it. So yeah. So. Cinder's back. And they're psych. I do, I gotta say, I do feel kind of bad for, for Salem now. But I don't feel bad for, I, you know, like, as of right now, I don't think there, I don't really think there's anything left in there of, of what we saw of her origin story. So, you know, cur current, current Salem has got to go, but can't go, apparently. So what are we going to do, guys? I got to turn this up, because I, 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 I just, oh, man. We're just going to get to see everyone react to this. <laughs> Salem can't be killed. You all heard her too, right? Uh, there was so much you hadn't told us. How could you think that was okay? Professor? 
What is your plan to defeat Salem? Good question. I don't have one. There is no plan. We're playing keep away. Oh my god! And Crow is so loyal. Also, that's no Oscar. Me. I was cursed. I gave my life to you because you gave me a place in this world. Crow, baby. I thought I was finally doing some good. But you are needing you. <gasps> it's the worst luck of my life. Oh no! I was wondering how he'd take it. Oh, Crow. That was You're what right. was... <gasps> Poor Oscar just what got happened? hit. He's gone. That Go bastard! Tell him we're not done yet! No, this is different. He's, he's gone, gone. gone. He's gone, gone. gone. It's like he's locked himself deep inside my head. Okay, so Our he's head. not gone. <laughs> Oscar, honey. I want it to stop. Oh, God. Us? What are we going to do now? Enough! We need to get a move on. Okay. It'll be dark before we know it, and every one of you is spewing negativity. Yeah, that's that is a great point. There's We're... a trail over there. Trails usually lead somewhere. Lady, mm -hmm. I don't know who you think you are, but no buts. Oh. I understand Listen. that you're upset. Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second time around. Okay, so she didn't. If we don't move, we die. And I'll be damned if I've lived this long just to die out here in the cold. Heck yeah! Tell it. No, she's right. She is right. Come on. Come on, guys. We need we need to stay alive. It's priority one. I know we're all like really overwhelmed. Oh God, Crow. For a second, I thought maybe Mar maybe Maria like knew more, but I guess she didn't. She and nobody knew this except for Oz Salem. Oh, poor Oscar. We're just going to be another one of his lives. Oh, um, of course not. No, you're, you're our your own person. No lie to him, Ruby. Gross. <gasps> Crow. I'm so okay. He was hanging by a thread before. Now I feel like he's just, you know, the only thing that was kind of keeping him like tethered and gave him hope and a purpose was Ozpin. And oh my God, I'm just so scared for him now. Now I kind of get the pulling into abyss. I'll be honest because I think he's just, oh, please, please guys, don't let Crow, don't let Crow lose it. Please guys, pull him back from the edge. Please, he's my man. What are we doing? Where are we? Okay. Oh, here's here's the here's this crew. What are they up to? Welcome back, welcome back. I do hope you missed us as much as we missed you. Oh, oh no. Let's go. Welcome home. Ooh, speaking of which, where is our fall maiden? <laughs> Yo, you already know. Emeralds, come on. Don't tell me something happened to her. Oh. <laughs> She was important to Emma. More than just your tail. Uh oh. <laughs> Careful, little girl. <laughs> don't mess her. Don't ma Don't. I think. She Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Back off, freak. I actually defended don't her. Misunderstand. I am in mourning just as you. Because it appears you failed our queen. And that is a tragedy. <laughs> For them it is. He seems pretty uh, tickled by it. Oh my lord. It's just hard not to smile when he does the crazy laugh though. She just makes me want to laugh, even though it's crazy. Oh, crap. I would like you to explain to me 
how it is you failed so spectacularly. Oh. The Fauna's militia split our forces. Stop. Let me rephrase the question. Okay. Who is responsible for your defeat? I take full responsibility. He's oh my god. Be fair now. Oh my god, he is so hacking brave though. Truly to blame. I don't Oh no! Hazel, oh my god, I think we're witnessing the end of Hazel right now. Is this the end of Hazel? That was pretty stinking brave though, I gotta say. <laughs> Can we all just respect for a second the fact that he could even I like I want you to tell me whose fault this was. Now. Cinder! We failed because of Cinder. Must have been That's hard. Right. Must have been hard for her. I want you to understand that failure. I want you to understand why Cinder must be left to toil in her isolation until she redeems herself. Okay, so they know she. You mean they know she's. She's she knows. Alive. Okay. You're joking. How could you know that? Are you questioning our divine savior? I... Ah. Uh, Seal was so scary. <laughs> of course not. Uh, <laughs> it's important not to lose sight of what drives us. Love. Justice. Reverence. But the moment you put your desires before my own, oh. they will be lost to you. So, like, she'll work you based on your motivations. She knows how to manipulate you, but do true. not misunderstand. This is simply the truth. The path to your desires is only found through me. <clears throat> Oh, he's he's loving this. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> and so we must press on. She's been pressing the on sword for a while. under Vacuo's academy, shade. Ma'am, I have more to report. I know he didn't just interrupt her, though. I know he didn't just interrupt her. That was not a good no, idea. The children are taking the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Okay. And they're being led by Ozpin. So no. soon. He's the only man with a chance of getting through to Ironwood. If that happens, it she just. Oh my gosh, she. Oh, is she, oh, is she like cracking? And her windows are literally cracking because she's like cracking apart in her head. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. um, your grace. I uh -oh. Everyone, get out! Everyone, get out! Come on. Oh my! The 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 walls are coming down. Windows. Uh, Emerald, you are so far in over your head here. I actually don't hate Emerald, but she's <laughs> she is. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Guys, I'm scared of Salem. I'm not gonna lie. I was sweating through that whole scene. I'm gonna be real with you. It doesn't look like this is gonna let up. I just wanna get this stupid relic to Atlas. Let's hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I thought trails led somewhere. Do you have nothing better to do than to harass a defenseless old lady? Everyone quiet. Oh boy. Do you hear that? It's a, what is it? It's a, it's a creaking. It's, 
That's a distinct creaking. I hear creaking. Is that, oh? It's a gate. I was going to say it's like a gate or like a sign hanging off of something. It's something in, in great need of some oil. Well, Brunswick Farms. Thing happened today. It looks abandoned. It's still better than this. Come on. I think we could all use some rest. For sure. Whew. I hope... I, I... Wow. Look, how do you even... <laughs> How do you even go back to like normal life after knowing all this? How do you even like I I am a human being that needs rest and sustenance after this crazy ball. Oh my lord. All right guys. Wow. Just wow. Um a, a Brunswick farm sounds familiar. Maybe it's maybe um I'm just being crazy. I don't know. Um All right. I really like Maria. I want to see more of her. Salem is real scary. Um, it's funny because we don't usually see her like lose it a lot. She always seems like she's very much in control of the situation, even if she's angry. And in this, I feel like she really lost it when she heard about Ozpin. So clearly, like, it still affects her an awful lot. I'm sure there's, I'm sure the feelings have just all turned to hate and resentment and rage but oh well da, 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 no well hold on now crunch your crunch i was like oh you seem to be enjoying this girlfriend you want to see some more i do i do want to see some more however i would like to discuss this with you first briefly because i do want to see what happens next um all right guys really liking maria maria has a voice of reason here she's like guys we're gonna die in the snow here let's get i feel but again it's like how do you how do you get back to like, God, it just, it just seems so futile now that we have so much knowledge. Like truly knowledge is so powerful, like overwhelmingly so, because now that we know all of this, even I'm just sitting here like, how do you just like go and like lay in bed and like chill out and, and have some, some dinner and everything after that? Like how? This changes everything. Um... Yep, not understandably so. They were pretty upset with with Ozpin. I gotta say, that was a lot to keep from them. That was a lot to keep from them. That being said, I will point out a few things that I pointed out initially, like the first time we got like a little bit of truth from from Oz, and that's that. This is like grim fodder, guys. This is like a grim all-you-can-eat buffet of negative emotions caused by this knowledge. So there is that. Uh, you know, I mean, I will say that. The other thing is, um, I don't even know how, like, how or where you would start, you know? And again, like, I will just say this is, this is, this has been going on for a while for Ozpin. This is not the first group. This is, I think, the first ones. Maybe not. But, I, I yeah, I want to say off the top of my head, they are the only ones who have ever found out this level of knowledge um, that he's been, you know, in contact with throughout any of his lives. Like, I don't think they came out and said that, but I think that's pretty, I'm, I'm inferring that. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm inferring that, that, like, they're the first ones to ever, like, know, know everything. Um, which is crazy when you think that, like, up to this point, even knowing about, like, how some of the fairy tales were true and the, and the maidens and, like, all that was, like, big knowledge that had to be kept under wraps because of the grim, right? This is, like... This this makes that stuff look like oh, I mean not not that much knowledge at all compared to this, um, crow. So I knew I knew that I knew that this was gonna affect crow, but it it definitely it definitely affected him, um, I think a lot more quickly than I had hoped. I guess I kind of hoped that maybe he would be, like, confused, but still, like, I don't know. I just feel like after the kind of life that he's led, um, 
probably not being able to get close to much of anyone at all and just being like essentially like feel, but just being like a curse cursed and a curse for your whole life and you have this tether to a war or to an actual world to an actual life to an actual purpose to find that out it's like watching your life come down around you. I just, I'm, my heart is broken for him and I'm so scared for him, especially considering what's in the opening. Um, so please, please, I know we need to save the world, but can, can we put like a little priority on like saving Crow's heart? Crow's important to me. Please. I don't want to see him like just circle the drain guys. Seriously. Um, Okay, where do we go from here, guys? And he, and he has no plan. Because why would you have to, What plan? You already know she can't be defeated. We are essentially playing keep away for our lives. Um, all right, guys. I could sit here and rant forever. And it's, it's getting close to that. So what do you say? <laughs> we jump back in to that. Okay, I will say you guys are awesome about spoilers. But there's been some that it's just been hinted again, not a spoiler because you guys are so good about it. That episode five is really big, so I have a feeling that a lot of my lot of stuff's gonna happen. Probably maybe some of my questions are gonna be addressed. So I don't know. Let's get started, guys. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Save Crow, save the world, but save Crow also first, maybe. Okay, we're gonna start. We always do start with a theme. So actually, I, I could have put some of my rants in the theme. Sorry. All right, let's examine the theme now that we know this much. So there's the moon, and it's and it's gonna break. Yep. And now we know why. And these poor guys, half of our crew in this shot here does not even know. Oh my lord. I don't. I, that's gonna be a hard conversation to have. That's gonna be tough. And there's Maria, silver eyes, and my poor crow was just crushed. Oh my God. I want to hold him and console him. Just tell him like, it's just, you're, you're not a curse. This might, this might be, this might be part of you, but you are a blessing. Oh. Oh yeah. And also Salem is terrifying. I will say though. Salem will be fun to cosplay, don't you think? That will be a very intricate cosplay. Somebody who really knows what they're doing would would need to need to do that. But I think that will be a fun cosplay. A lot of the Ruby characters, I think, would be really, really, really fun cosplay because they're such unique and detailed designs. Also, there's somebody jumping around in a hood in this, and they have not shown them, and I feel like that's intentional. I'm so nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. I'm like legit, like. <sighs> Do you have my information? And of we're back. Of course I do, darling. Little Miss always delivers. Although I can't promise you'll be pleased. Word is they were seen boarding the August Limited a few weeks back. Well, that mm. isn't exactly far from here. Argus is rarely a destination for folks. Chances are they'll be going straight to Atlas. So this is a few weeks later. So this takes you place know, a little ahead of to be quite the interesting customer. Cinder. Yeah, there we go. It's not often a single client brings me double the business. Because who's looking for her, right? What? Oh, are you kidding me? Neil? How? Maybe put away the good glasses. What are you doing? The song too. Oh my God! I'm so happy. So that does that mean Roman? Does that mean? Does that mean the hat? Does that mean the hat? What meant something? And the guys, 
I will lose my mind if Roman is still out there. How long have I been missing Roman now? And Neo, cause look at Neo. Look at how good this looks too. Oh my God, guys, tell me they sell the umbrella. I need that umbrella. It's a ridiculously cool umbrella. I would not know how to fight with it like this, but it would be cool to carry around. Um, if she survived, is there any way that Roman survived? Uh, but we spoke raw, but I don't know. That's a little bit less likely, isn't it? Because didn't we see him like straight up get eaten? She's like, don't wreck my stuff. Lady, you be your the one who... Oh my God. Nice trick. Yeah, but she's never faced her what... But so has... I mean, she's the... Yeah, she's... She's got the... She's wearing the hat! Okay, that's where the hat came from. She's wearing the hat. Oh time for your misplaced blame, girl. I didn't kill your boss. If you want revenge, take it up with little red. She's like, no thanks. I'd rather take it up with you. Does uh, will Neo ever talk? Or is she one with a grudge against Ruby? Listen! We both want that girl dead. Oh great. Do not team up with her. Wasting your time fighting me. And let's discuss how we kill her together. Ruby didn't he? It was a Grim, right? That ate him. Why don't you go kill the Grim? It was while he was fighting Ruby. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, you know, talk is in the, yeah, kind of, not literally. Let's, uh,. Let's discuss. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad she's back. She was so cool. Like pass through all damaged or unfinished. But this place looks fine. Yeah, well, yeah why is... left in a hurry. Before things took a turn. Hmm. Stay on guard. Okay. Even Weiss is cold, and she's like, she's from, she's from the cold part of the world. Oof. Close the door already! It's cold enough in here as it is. She's just setting everyone straight. I love it. I saw a chimney from the outside. Maybe we could get a fire going? Please, I'll look for some blankets. Yang, go with her. Okay. And what are you up to, Ruby girl? Oh, it's... these are the people who lived here. Let's get a closer look at the people who lived here. Brunswick Farms. Bunch of, oh, I'm seeing a bunch of people. I don't recognize. What do you think? Something doesn't feel right. Let's look for some. <gasps> oh, no. No. No, guys, no. What's, uh, do I recognize any of these people? I'm trying to see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. They're, oh, they've been like, ooh, that's, it's been a while, guys. Oh dear, and we can't really leave because, yeah, we can't re- Oof. Aw, love our girls being tender to each other. It's the same in every house. What? Bodies. Oh. Every bed in every home. It's like the whole estate just went to sleep and never woke up. Oh. Staying here, right? We don't have a choice. Storm outside's only getting worse. We'd freeze to death before we made it anywhere. So we're gonna stay with the well, bodies. Nice. Might as well get comfortable. <laughs> she's not bothered. Okay then, let's do something. 
Okay. If this what place are we doing? wasn't abandoned, it might still have supplies we could use. Right. Yeah. Maybe even a car. I'll do another oh. sweep of the grounds. Okay. No one else goes anywhere alone. Okay. That sounds yeah, reasonable. I can search the other buildings for vehicles. Fine. Whatever gets me out of this house. But also, yay, because we're spending time together is what she meant to say. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'll also, Ruby just, like, straight up being, like, just just leading the heck out of us right now. Oh, Nice. Food always makes me feel better. Oh, I hear that. Just saying. Just saying. We need right. a snack. I'll tell you what. You keep that fire fed. And I'll find us a story to read before bed. Oh my god, thank god for her. She is wonderful. Can she adopt me, please? <laughs> she's just I, I like how she's not faced. She's like, yeah, it's gonna take me a little while to get through this, but for now I gotta you know, just get warm and we'll read a story and we'll all be good. Oh we're oh, this uh, seems like a good time to connect, ladies. Seems like this would be a good time to maybe connect and maybe have a conversation. Something tells me that's not street legal. Does it work, though? Whatever works. What do you think happened here? That's There's an excellent that well question. The square. Maybe water contamination? Yeah, maybe. Um. Hey, are you, you okay? Yeah. I mean... No. Don't. But. Oh, God. Please be all right. Know. I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't blame her. Oh, those little droopy ears. Oops. What you guys. Hey, I found talk? something. What is it? <gasps> oh! God! <laughs> that was not all right! <gasps> That legit that took I'm my sorry. breath away. Jeez. I still get flashes from that night. Oh, sweetheart. Do you think Adam's still out there? I don't know. If you went back to the White Fang, there would have been serious consequences. But he never really liked people telling him what to do. I mean, I would say there were Adam's consequences. Strong, he killed them. real power comes from control. He used to get in my head, make me feel small. But now I see he just wanted to pull me down to his size. Yep. Don't let him control you. Hey, I'm not leaving. And if we ever see him again, I promise I'll be there. And I'll protect you. <laughs> what? What? Forget it. I don't think she wants Let's protection, though. But what about- We're fine. We can hook that flap it up to Bumblebee in the morning. Should carry everyone. That's not- Maybe the- maybe the protect thing. I don't think- she's not looking for protection. She's looking just for you. Maybe that's why she- But up- up to that point, that was a really sweet scene. Nice. There. That was awesome. That's so handy. On second thought, maybe we should keep this room closed. Huh? I'm just uh, not sure how well my uncle's taking all of this. Oh, because it's a, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because there's a we'll lot of. Atlas on an empty stomach. Oh, yeah. Girls, we need some snacks, my girls. We need we need some comfort food. Where's where's the mac and cheese at up in here? Can we have some mac Are and we... cheese? Are we really still going to Atlas? Why wouldn't we be? Because kind I of mean, what's the point? You heard what Jen said. If there's no way to kill Salem, then what's the point in all of this? Yeah. Why? Because there's always... Be serious. We still got to try. Sorry, I get both their points of view. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm just really tired and I really, really hate this place. God bless it. There's poison in the air. 
More yeah. alcohol. Yeah, we need to keep Crow out of here. Have problems starting a fire. What's that? Hmm. Disinfectant could be used for that. A wine cellar? No, guys. Uh, what? what? Don't open it. it. Beans. Ah, beans! Shrimp flavor beans. Oh, trust me. You put enough salt on anything, and it will taste just fine. Heck yeah. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh my lord. I but I still seriously hate this place. I don't blame you, but I relate to Ruby so much. Also, please let's not there you know there's something in there. I've seen enough horror movies. Oh god, and it's peeking out. It's peeking out. That better not be the end of the episode. Oh my lord. Really you're going to leave me at something peeking out of the cellar? So like not everything is dead, huh? There's like something nasty in the cellar. You can leave me on that. Okay. Okay. You could have left me on the beans. You could have left me on our girls found food. You had to leave me on that. Oh my God, the song. Oh my God, Neo! Okay, so I will say, Roman is probably far-fetched because he straight up got, got eight, right? But I will say, Neo just kind of like, she just kind of like, like fell off, so you know? It wasn't, wasn't like a real confirmed death, I always felt like. So I'm glad she's back. Okay, there's, oh, and it's gonna start up the next one because it's like, hey girl, you wanna binge watch some Ruby right now? The next one's long, the next one's like 19 minutes. Oh, I, okay, now I get why you guys said episode five was big, right? Because of Neo, that is a big deal. Um, all right, guys, let's review. Neo is back oh my god and she looks better than ever and she is stronger not crazy about her teaming up with cinder though um technically speaking none of the above killed roman a, a grim killed roman let's go kill the grim like neo you can no you could do better than this with your life do not team up with cinder <laughs> oh my lord neo's back Neo's back. Guys, if people are coming back from the dead, can we can we can we bring some people back up in here, please? Please. I don't know. I I kind of feel like bringing Pira back. She had such a her death hit so hard as much as I'd love to have her back. It's one of those story things where like, would you be doing a disservice to that part of the story, you know what I mean, by bringing her back? But I'd still love to have her back. And, and same with Penny, but I feel like with Penny, it always felt a little bit less, I don't know, permanent to me with Penny. Maybe because she's, you know, um, uh, she is, um, I hate to say artificial because she was, she's real. I forget what the term was, artificial intelligence or she was real. She was really real. She was more real than a lot of things. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, getting off of the subject of bringing people back from the dead and on to the subject of people being dead in their beds at random in this place. And we still don't know why. And we're just going to chill and stay in the house because like, what else are we going to do? Like, we don't want to go die in the snow and every other house is the same. I will say... The two instances of our girls being just like real done and tired. First time I was like, okay, it's been a tiring day. Second time when Weiss is like, ah, I'm just, oh, just so tired. I'm like, nope, we got some carbon monoxide up in here or something. There was something in the air. No. Because cause think about it. Like nobody, he didn't say, Crow said that it looked like they all just went to sleep and never woke up. So, like, you're, you mean to tell me, like, it, ha it had to be something very specific that killed them. Because, you know, I j it just seems like you would have found them in different, you would have found them in, like, different positions or something, you know? Like, uh, yeah, maybe it's something that happened in the middle of the night, like a poison or something. But you mean to tell me, like, nobody was up getting a midnight snack? It's like they were all just asleep in their beds, perfectly neat and kept like all, and then they were just all dead. Like there was some, like there, that has, that has some kind of like mythical dream monster written all over it. Am I right or am I right? 
I'm probably not right. <laughs> I just I just need a little backup on this one. Um, oh my god. So we got that to deal with. We've got random dead people in the town. They're all just... It looks like... I mean, ick. They've been there a little while. Like, that was... Ew. Um, thank God for Maria. Thank God she's just like... I know we just had all our minds shattered with this knowledge, but let's get warm and let's read a story. Thank God for you, Maria. <laughs> also, I'm glad that somebody else is worried for Crow. Um, and I've said for a while, like, not, not to, like, harp on him or anything, but I'm like, boy, I feel like the drinking might become, like, a problem. Or maybe it, like, we're... That just feels like a little excessive, and um, and I think that maybe I, I'm thinking com combined with what we know from the opening and what Ruby said about like let's maybe keep the bar to ourselves, like let's not let's just lock this one up, let's not tell Uncle Crow about this. Um, it tells me that there's a chance that he is, uh, you know, um, going to lean into that um, excessive even more so um as a as a way to cope which like makes I mean it makes a lot of sense because honestly guys like who wouldn't who wouldn't be <laughs> who wouldn't be like I need a drink after all that except Ruby was like I need a snack and I'm like I hear you girl I need a snack as well <laughs> I need a snack just watching you go through this um but yes worried about crow don't know what the random death in the sleep thing is about. Um, I love the moments we had with our girls with the Weiss having to eat canned food and just the two of them just getting through this together and we got a little bit of Blake and Yang and I really loved their scene. Oh my god. I don't know what hit me so differently about that one uh, just jump scare of Adam but that legit maybe like like thank god all the screws are tightened in my chair because I would have gone flying like back into the wall because I <laughs> I jumped so hard um but that still clearly affects her so much and I'm glad they talked about it but I can't tell what kind of put Yang on the defensive whether it was um just the fact that it was maybe a little too much too soon because she looked like she was really appreciating the like, hey, I'm not going anywhere. Like, whatever happens, I'm going to be here for you. Like, if he comes back, I will be here. But then when she said, like, I'll protect you, maybe that's what kind of put her back up a little bit because I don't think it's really her protection that she's looking for, you know. She's not, maybe, maybe Blake kind of feels like, I let you down once and now I have, it's my job to like save you. And I don't think that's what Yang is looking for. I think Yang is just looking for her, you know, she just wants her. She doesn't care about anyone making anything up or like, it doesn't work that way. She just wants her there and just the time, um, to process all that and let it, let it heal and everything. So maybe I'm guessing maybe that was, that's my interpretation. I could be totally wrong, but she definitely after that was like, let's get out of here. Like, nah. But I, I, as soon as like her hand was shaking, I didn't say it. I wish I had now, but I'm like, Ooh, Blake, just take her hand. Wouldn't that be sweet? Just take her hand and be like, no, I'm here for you, my girl. Um, whether you like whether you ship them or not, I know like there's lots of ships all over the place, but I really do love their dynamic. Like regardless of if you think it's a romantic love or just a very very deep, um, you know, a friendship love, um, uh, there's a lot of evidence for both. But you know, whatever. Look, guys, I'm not here to tell you what to ship. You ship what you like. Whatever sprinkles your donuts. I'm, you know, you do you. <laughs> um, but, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever you, uh, prefer, I guess. But I think there's a lot of evidence for both. You know, I think you could see it either way. Um, I do kind of like them together though, but I like her and son together too. So I don't know what I want. I'm just ranting now, guys. I need a snack. I need to go find some shrimp flavored beans. And I, that sounds that sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? I don't think I've ever had sh I've had like ham in beans, you know, like the baked beans with the ham in it. I don't think I ever had shrimp in with beans. I don't know about that. I guess you don't know. So don't knock it till you try it. Um, so 
We found the pantry and oh yeah, let's not forget that there's something, I was so afraid they're gonna be like, oh, it's like maybe we'll find, so let's, let's, oh, let's unchain it. If you see a creepy cellar with chains all over it, turn around, turn around. There's nothing in there you, you wanna see. I've seen enough horror movies to know that there's some kind of horrible monster down there. Really hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And it was, and something was peeking out. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's a red herring where like, you know, it's actually going to be like something helpful. I don't know, but it sure didn't look that way, guys. Why would, there, why would there be a chain? Why would there be a chain around it? That implies you're trying to keep something in, doesn't it? Horror movie logic, guys. All right, I'm, I'm rambling, so I'm going to go get that snack. But guys, Neo is back. Neo is back. And we're dealing, and we're dealing. Our crew has dealt with so much. It's like, it's, it's amazing just to watch them just deal, just live their life with all this crazy BS going on. Um, so, all right, I will wrap it up now. I cannot wait. I cannot believe that next time I, f I do a reaction to this, I'll be like halfway through this, the volume already. Isn't that nuts? Isn't that crazy though? Um, great episodes, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching them along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. Please. Begging. And we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.